Hey, happy sunshine boys and girls, welcome back. I really wanted to bring your attention here to page 23 of the Knoxville Grand Jury Transcript, specifically from lines 9 through line 13, where Parker Still is talking about IUV, the website, i-uv.com, and a juror asks a very pertinent question. What does that mean, I-UV, right here on line 11? And <laughs> the answer is, I don't know, ma'am, I'm sorry. IUV.com, IUV.com. And <laughs> I, I just have to chuckle at this line. <clears throat> This is a direct question. He's saying he doesn't know, but I suspect <clears throat> there's no way the grand jury would come back with an indictment if they really knew what IUV.com or IUV really means. So I was doing <clears throat> a little digging around on the IUV website, <clears throat> and in the Hat J Trust, all on, down here, well, we got IUV and the IUV, I and the UV exchange. So this breaks it out, I and the UV. Well, after reading through this, UV stands for universal value. And in this document right here, That starts out with, in absolute gratitude, love, and peace, we introduce I. Where OPPT, or the One People's Public Trust, was the conscious space to know that all that is be eternal essence, I is the conscious space to empower experiencing eternal essence and body for all to know and rely upon. I is duly declared and verified as lawfully created, insured, and guaranteed within and transparently operating under record and law of absolute truth of eternal essence, record number 201303-2035. And right there, if Parker still... Oops, wrong transcript. I've got so many things going on. If Parker Still had answered this question honestly, if Parker Still had done a thorough investigation, he would know the answer to this question on line 11. But just the way he says, I don't know, ma'am, IUV.com, IUV.com. <laughs> wow. It's like he's allergic to the definition and is trying to define IUV.com by just repeating this twice. But we can easily see that had he done the research on this website that they're talking about, the answer is right there on the website, it would have led write to court records just to define what IUV is. So the grand jury is asking all the right questions here. And a tag team combination between Cynthia Davidson and Parker Still is impeding the jury's understanding of this case. There's several times where they've asked questions and they've gotten garbage responses. So if you also had the question of, what does IUV mean? You can head on over to the IUV website Pat J. Trust, all on, 
and go check out these links. Now, I haven't back-checked these links. I, I haven't pulled any of these record numbers from UCC filings. To, to, I don't even quite know the process for how to do that. Where, where to even go? Is this something available online? Is there anybody that is proficient at pulling UCC filings out? I would love an algorithm, a little flowchart for where to go and how to do it. Because we're getting right there at the time where, okay, we need to check the roots and the foundations of all these. Heather's side is the only one giving specific citations, documents. The prosecution, Parker Still, Cynthia Davidson, they're giving garbage. And they're avoiding questions that would necessarily lead right to these purported case filings. So it's time that we make an investment as a family and go pull these for ourselves. I don't know how to do that or where to begin, but if you've got ideas, please send them to lunacy, L-U-N-A-S-E-E -E, at protonmail.com. I love you guys a lot. Thank you so much for all of the very articulate comments and emails with all of this pertinent information. Uh, just a couple disclaimers. Um, I am not connected with Heather's team at all. Uh, I, I don't have their email. I don't have contacts or anything like that. So any information that you have that you think is pertinent for Heather's team that you send my way, there's really nothing that I can do with that information as far as forwarding that on other than to make a video about it. And in order to do that, I've got to do some research and investigation. So if this is something that you're sure of, you know, this is, this is your divine responsibility then to, to make a video, post that, link me to the video, make a, make a easy to flow, walk, walk people through it, walk, make it so that a kindergartner can understand this. And, uh, and that would be probably the biggest help that you can bring to this cause. And I'm searching for truth. I don't know how to explain this entire case yet, but I'm interested and invested and I'm going to stay here until, until something gives. And I don't know what that's going to be and I don't have any preconceived notions of what that's going to be. We've got a lot of things that we need to observe. We got to fact check, we got to backtrack, and we got to look at every facet of this that we possibly can with an open mind. All right, we'll be back on the next one. I love you a lot, family. Take care.